hello my lovely scorpios welcome to my channel welcome to my sacred space i hope you guys had a good day today and you guys are having a good week you know we're gonna get into your reading see what messages your spirit guides want you to know for this month so we're just going to dive right into See, now let me say my prayer before I begin. God, my ancestors and spirit guides, my spiritual team will call to you through this reading. Spirit guides, I accept your peace. Protect me as I read into these animations. Um, and I ask that you allow me to receive this message as clear as possible so I can deliver them to the collective as clear as possible spirit guides i accept your guidance for reading these messages as well thank you spirit use my vessel to deliver these messages thank you my lovely divine spirit guides ancestors angels okay spirit what messages do you have for my lovely scorpios what messages do you have for my lovely scorpios for this month. No. Scorpio, first card, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. So, Scorpio, Ace of Pentacles, something big is coming in for you. And expect this to happen. Expect this to happen. Spring is literally right around the corner. You know, if you didn't know, spring is the actual real New Year's. That's when things start flourishing. That's where the abundance, the wealth starts flowing in. And everything just starts flowing and coming together. The seeds that you have planted are now coming to fruition. So, Ace of Pentacles, this could represent money. This could be an inheritance. This could be, um, I don't know. We're going to find out. Whatever it is, it's good, though. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's going to be so rewarding for you. It's something that you've wanted for a long time now. It's something that you've been trying to manifest. It's something that you've been asking the universe for you know it's, it's something you've been praying for like this could be a dream of, of yours girl. a wish a big wish fulfillment coming to fruition here with that ace of pentacles you have great things ahead of you scorpio let's see let's put out more cards Okay, so wait, was that was the was the four one supposed to be in reverse? Let me please clarify. It looks hard, guys. <laughs> it's pretty early. It's like five in the morning. <laughs> So yeah, the four ones was supposed to be in reverse. Okay. So with that four of wands in reverse, definitely picking up on some sad, stagnant energy. Let's continue.
you have Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, what else? Can I get one more card? Thank you, Spirit. Supposed to be it's supposed to be upright, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. So, this is your current energy. So, I definitely see that you have you definitely have shifted your energy into into this the queen of wands someone who knows what she wants someone who someone who knows what they want someone who respects themselves who values themselves and their needs and their boundaries their spiritual hygiene their self-care someone Someone who's very passionate about what they want for themselves, right? But I definitely, what I get with this card is I definitely see you taking control of your actions, of yourself, of what you do. And I see you creating something for yourself with it. Like creating the life that you deserve. Like you know... You know deep down that you can manifest whatever you want in this reality. You know whatever I want, I'm going to get it. I'm going to have it. I deserve it. That's basically, that's the energy I'm picking up with this uh, Queen of Wands here, right? So with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Swords... In reverse, you were in a stagnant energy, Scorpio. You were mentally trapped, and you were just very upset. You know this, this whatever this situation was, or um, or this thing that had you feeling stagnant and stuck. Like you were like that for a good minute. You thought everything was over you thought there was nothing left for you but scorpio there is so much more to come so much more good things to come there's so much more good things to come you've moved you you have taken yourself out of this energy You've taken yourself out of this energy. Before, you weren't celebrating. You were upset. You you felt... You felt stagnant. You felt lost. You felt bind, pinned down, tied. You know? I feel like people were working against you for some. But I see that you have moved out of this energy you have taken yourself out of this energy you have picked yourself up and you're like all right i'm done where am i gonna go next what's my next move you're moving forward you're moving forward and what you're expecting is success all right spirit can you clarify the ace of pentacles what is this ace of pentacles here spirit thank you can please clarify the Ace of Pentacles? What is this Ace of Pentacles? got the three of pentacles this is exactly what i was talking about you 
have planted seeds you have prayed for something you have asked the universe for something you've made your order you've planted your seeds and this ace of pentacles right here now you are about to see these seeds come to fruition you're going to receive this expect this expect this this spring okay because that's when things is going to start flowing to you everything that you've manifested is going to start coming to you and this is exactly what spirit is talking about here something that you've been praying for you've been wanting for a long time or you've asked for it multiple times a long time ago you know you're receiving that you're receiving that and i feel like your spirit is giving you so much more as well um, let's see, this card fell out, and it is the Tempest card. So the Tempest is all about balance, it's all about harmony. So, definitely, I definitely see energies in your life being balanced. Not only in your life, but in yourself. You're balancing energies within yourself. And because you're doing that, you're able to do the same outside. Now your life is about to start changing because you're balancing the energies within yourself. And because, like I said, because you're doing that, you are the universe and the universe is a reflection of you. So things are about to start changing now in your life. You're about to be... More abundance is about to come to you. More wealth. More success. More joy. Now balance. Now now better things. Better things is going to come to you. Because you're aligning. You're literally aligning yourself for this. And you're taking the steps towards it. That's awesome. Leave, leave the past in the past. Because you can't take that where you're going. You can't take that with you where you're going because i just said i'm on a new level i'm on a new level you're on a new level so that old sh that old stuff that old shit can't come with you i wasn't trying to curse but <laughs> i had to curse i had to curse for that one that old stuff can't come with you because you're on a new level that stuff is in the old level all right so let's see spirit can you please uh, clarify the eight of swords what is this eight of swords here okay so we have the tower so Whatever situation that you had to go through that occurred that really shook you to the core and had you in this Eight of Swords energy, Spirit wants me to tell you that that wasn't, that didn't happen to you to break you. It didn't, hold on. It didn't happen to you to break you. Um, believe it or not, it was to make you even better. To make you even better. To make you realize the strength that you have. To make you realize the mental strength and power and will that you have. They wanted you to realize this. So you can never, ever be in this energy ever again. They're, per they're literally were, for some of you, they're literally preparing you for when you do receive this big Ace of Pentacles. Because when you receive, when you receive this big Ace of Pentacles, oh, don't. And I know some of you already know this, but best believe that those people that did you dirty, 
that were all going against you. They see that you're doing good once you receive your Ace of Pentacles. They see that you're doing really good. You're doing better than they are and you're happy. You're actually genuinely happy. They're not, but you're actually genuinely happy. They're going to see you doing really good and you're like, oh, like, oh, let me... Let me go, let me go call Scorpio. Let me go text Scorpio and let me go try and link with Scorpio or let me try and get some money out of Scorpio or let me see if I can go and, and, and uh, manipulate my way into Scorpio's energy so I can take his or her Ace of Pentacles because I want it. I want it all to myself and I don't want Scorpio to, I don't want Scorpio to be successful. These people are gonna come are gonna come to you and and you and you have to know how to say no. Be like, fuck off. I don't fuck with you. You're fake. And you should have kept you keep that keep that same fucking energy. You should have kept like that same energy you gave me in the past, where it at? Keep that fucking same energy because you're not getting shit out of me. You can stay broken, you can stay miserable. Fuck off. How about that? You know? You you leave the motherfuckers in the dirt. And you have the strength. You have the strength to do that now. You have the strength to stand up for yourself and speak up for yourself. And be like, no. You have that strength. That's what spirit wanted to give you. They wanted to give you that willpower. They wanted you to realize your power. How powerful your voice is. How powerful your will is. How powerful your mind is. They wanted you to realize that strength inside of you because you're gonna need it. You're evolving, you're being reborn. That's and that's y'all thing. Scorpio's that's her thing. You guys are death and rebirth. I mean, that's that's what the um death card is in the in the tarot deck. That's your card. The death card is the Scorpio card, which represents death and rebirth. You guys are literally constantly going through deaths and rebirths. Well, this is you being reborn. This is you being reborn to the mother, mother effing God and goddess that you are. Okay, let's move on to the chariot. What's this chariot here, Spirit? Can you please clarify? Please and thank you. Okay, um, Spirit, can you please clarify if the Ace of Swords is supposed to be in reverse? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so I'm going to... All right, we have the Ace of Swords to clarify the Chariot card. So I'm automatically picking up on intuition. Somebody here doubts their intuition. That causes conflict in you. You have to learn to trust your intuition. Your higher self speaks to you through your intuition. So, so does your spirit guides. Whenever you get that stomach gut feeling that's your, that's your intuition you have to listen to your intuition you have to learn how to trust your intuition because when you don't when you don't listen to your intuition you're literally betraying yourself you're being divinely guided right now okay you're on you're on the path you're on the path i feel like of rediscovering yourself you know you're healing you're healing, you're releasing, um, you're realigning yourself energetically with this Queen of Wands energy. You know, you're moving on, you're moving forward, you know, but you have this bad tendency to uh, doubt yourself, doubt, whether that be doubt yourself, doubt your intuition, doubt your gifts. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. Okay, 
You don't have to do that. Spirit says stop doing that. Okay? Because that will cause, that you will cause yourself stagnation. And we don't want that. We want to continue growing. We want to continue um, evolving, becoming stronger with our powers, our gifts, our psychic abilities, our manifestation. We want to strengthen our mind. Okay, so you're going to have to really start re reprogramming your mind to trust your intuition. Okay, because believe it or not, you guys are actually very intuitive. And you guys are very psychic as well. Go within. All the answers that you seek are within you. Do lots of heavy shadow work. Find the roots. Find the roots to why do you doubt your intuition? Like, why? Why do you doubt yourself? Find the root of that. Because once you find the root of that, You'll be able to give you, give your, you'll be able to understand and give your inner child the closure it needs, and you'll be able to give yourself the love and support that you need, that that part of you needs as well. Point, because that part of you needs that love and support. So, like I said, that part of you needs that love and support. So. Give that part of you that love and support that it needs. And then release. Release. Write it write down. Write it down on a journal if you want. You know? You know. Just know that you are destined for success. So. You're destined for success. But you have have to you have to get to the bottom of this okay you guys stop doubting your intuition you got this and you know stuff don't doubt yourself that cycle is over okay so what messages do you have for scorpio this one Okay, we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Yeah, this is definitely you guys because you guys are in a healing stage right now. You are in a healing stage right now and um, there's these ancestral patterns that have taken place in your bloodline right and it seems like scorpio you are the chosen one to break these chains to actually heal the ancestral bloodline by healing yourself you are healing your bloodline okay and i see here you are being guided to rewrite your future. Like I said, you are being divinely guided. You are being divinely guided right now. You broke free from this stagnant energy, from this stagnant, low vibrational, negative energy. You broke free and things are balancing. Things are, you are balancing. That's what you crave. You crave balance, harmony in your energy. You want to be at peace with self. And... You're literally on the path of doing that. So, just so you know, you know, when you heal yourself and you do the inner work, you are healing the ancestral bloodline. That's why it's so important to heal and do our shadow work. And you are absolutely rewriting your future because I, I feel like it's like, it's kind of like like you came from nothing right you came from nothing and you're literally building yourself up and not just that 
but I see you building an empire. Literally. I see you building something great for yourself. Creating something great for yourself that's going to nurture you in such an abundant way, you know. What else? Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Okay, so this is, we're going back to your intuition. We're going back to your intuition here. Answer their call. You're obviously being <laughs> divinely guided. Wow, answer the call. What What is your soul calling you to do? That's a good question. What is your soul calling you to do right now? I heard heal. I heard heal, find yourself. What is your soul calling you to do? That's a question that you only know, my lovely Scorpios. But you're being called to answer the call. Ask, ask yourself that. What is my soul calling me to do? There's no right or wrong answer for that either. Leap. You go first, the universe will catch you. So I'm picking up an energy where somebody doesn't know where to go or what decision to make whatever you whatever your soul is tells you is right there you go wherever your intuition tells you is right there you go spirit said don't be afraid leave fear in the past that's that's old spirit said you just gotta make you just got to move towards it. Take that leap of, have that leap of faith. Take that leap. Just go for it. Go for it. Your intuition is telling you, go that way. Go this direction. And you're like, oh, no, like, I don't know. Because what if the same thing happens to me again? And this and that, like, da, 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 da. No. If your intuition is telling you, no, go that way. See? go that way there's something over there for you the universe said that they got you they want you your spirit guides want you to trust them they want you to trust them the universe wants you to trust trust it because they got you and you have to know that you have to know that okay you have to be in alignment with that all right you take that leap of you take that leap of faith and the universe will catch you this is new beginnings remember new cycles new energy new environment don't be afraid because you're being divinely guided right now so you know, when you're being divinely guided, spirit, your higher self, your spirit guides are literally guiding you. Okay, let's pick one more card out. Deep replenishment. Retreat, rest, be held. Okay, this is giving me healing, grounding, shadow work, reflecting vibes. Okay, all right. Spirit said, don't, don't overwork yourself. Don't overstress yourself. Okay, don't overstress yourself about the past. Don't overstress yourself about the future. 
okay spirit said to retreat for as much as you need to rest for as much as you need take that time to be with self take that time to reflect with self to check in with yourself to check in with your inner child to do that inner healing that shadow work so you can give yourself your shadow that love and support that it needs from you rest recharge your energy recharge your energy so in your mind so you can hear these messages that your spirit guides want to give to you these guy this guidance so you can actually hear it and be aware of it so you have that awareness because they your spirit guides to speak to you through your dreams through signs through music you know when i say signs like I, it could be like literally uh you at target you walk past like a cup a mug and it has a word phrase on it but that word phrase connects to what you were just talking about with your spirit guides and that's your spirit guides giving you a message for example they speak to you through angel numbers music right even thoughts you know sometimes you will have a random thought and they'll be like what the heck like i wasn't even was like i didn't even think that that calls to be the spirit guides that's a formal way they'll also communicate with you if you're if you are clairvoyant um you'll get images in your head of things you know you just have to pay attention you have to quiet the mind and pay attention okay you're being divinely guided and your spirit guides are actually here to help you and guide you and help you heal they're there with you every step of the way so you know don't ever be afraid to ask them for help and guidance with your inner healing and your shadow work same thing but don't forget to rest do not forget to rest. Rest as much as you need, okay? You don't have to be in a rush. Okay? Like I said, spirit doesn't want you to stress about the past and they don't want you to stress about the future. Just know that they got you. And you're being divinely guided right now. So it's, it's important for you to flow and it's important for you to take care of yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally. That's important for you. You have to be in alignment so you can receive the abundance, wealth, prosperity that they have for you in store. They're guiding you to it. They're preparing you for it. And, you know, I honestly, like, I just imagine, like, a beautiful rose just, like, blooming. Like, that's, that's literally you, Scorpio. It's literally you. awesome this was a, a good reading let me clear, clear energy out